alive? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you guys, what you want to do, if you've got two people, you do want to you do... Oh, she bought him. Look at all the fish. Look at him, George. Her splashing around is making him come over there. So what you want to remember is most dogs, like puppies and stuff, will run to somebody that they see at a distance. So, George, just start working your way around the pond that way. And you're going to be down that way, and I'm going to come at you. But the most folks in this puppy, George, not that way. But you got to go down the way. I'm going to go this way now. I was trying to figure out how to make it wider. Expectation. Right, come on, George, let's go on a tour. I dropped my lanyard back here. Let's see if I can find it. Um, but I am doing a couple different things, and what you don't want to do is somebody that just stands there and says, Yeah, here's 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 you know, pretty soon, what do they want? They don't want anything. It's like George guy just George sends me this text message, you guys. I've known George since he was 15. He sends me this text message yesterday. What you doing? Okay, this was my response. Good God, what does he want now? Never in this kid's life has he cared what I was doing. So my response was, good, yeah, what's going on now? All right, come on. Luckily, and I know my parents don't watch my show, but my mother sent me this pink bunch. I don't even know why. And I immediately thought of George and the kids. I said, I'll give this to George, because I bet they love chicken. And then, am I wrong, George? Right after that, that just got delivered yesterday, that chicken. Mm-hmm. It was and good stuff. I was going to call you. I said, I'm going to call George. But then an hour later, then he sent me that, what you doing? Which I was like, God, what does he want now? All right, come on. You know, but my being able to spin the dog back to me is resulting in a dog that's making it its mission to stay with me. And you're just going to be better off than to have one that you continually have to keep watching because I'll tell you what when ones like that disappear and George knows the second you get distracted am I wrong George yes ma'am somebody comes or something and then the phone or something and then 15 20 minutes later you realize where is it neighbor's chickens are gone oh yeah by then it's gone oh yeah I know your neighbor's chickens are all gone and so is it <laughs> and so is your life as you knew it so he's got the default deck. All right, come on, shoe bottom pot, and let's get out of here. Oh, look at her, she's out. She's out for kill. When I pulled up this morning, there was four rabbits in your driveway. Oh, I'm sure there were. They're everywhere. Oh, there's one over there. Look at her. She's like rabbits. 
Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. You're never gonna catch one in the crackling those leaves around. You know, if you said who's got better hearing than dogs? Rabbits. You said, what are you basing that on? Like, George, don't get shoe bottom poop. I you. didn't. I saw it before you said something. Oh, sure she doesn't actually poop. Everybody poops. She poops out butterflies. Look at her. She's awful. All right, come on. Let's go back here and see if that wang is back here. So, you know, what I'm saying to myself, if I want to, I hope it's going to rain, George. If I want this puppy to make conclusions about me, I've already got his undivided attention. All I've got to do is just start adding things. So I'm saying to myself, where's my lanyard? I'll go find it. So I'm adding my little arm movements in a very deliberate, you know, so he's saying, oh, God, look at it. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. But that's, you know, that, that's what he's saying. He's concluding to himself. So this is what I'm get deliberately turning away from the dog. Now I'm motor away. All right, George, I lost my lanyard back here, so we got to see if it, you see it somewhere. And remember I told you that one time? He almost picked that up for me. He probably would have if I let him. Uh, remember I told you I lost one of the remote controls back uh -huh. here? Did you find it? No, but it's got to be here somewhere. I mean, I don't uh, think... They, George, I don't think these squirrels have taken it to a pawn shop. They didn't take it to a pawn shop or they burrowed a hole somewhere. Oh, it's in a hole. Bury it? They either bury it or drag it into a root ball or something. It's toast. Okay, you don't think they take it? Well, but that does, still doesn't mean the dogs might not find it. But the dogs may find it, but it's still toast. Well, no, it's waterproof and everything. Right? You need to fix your... Uh, One time someone left, lost a Timex watch. Out here? Yeah, oh yeah. Ten years later, still taking. I need to fix what, George? And by I, I, na I you now mean you. E That's yeah, right. well, I mean I, because you got something to do it, I'm not going to do it. No, it's like apocalypse now. What are you talking about? Here, give me a this is what this is, this is what they like at home. They're crashing through the bushes. They like that. All right, look, there's shoe bottom. Right here, take the phone, George. If he wanders back there after her, here, here, George, take the phone. Stay back there, because if he, he goes chasing back there after her. He's pretty much glued to me, though. You know, and you're going to have to have treats. And so I'm saying to myself right now... Even here, I'm, I'm, ow, ow, sticker, sticker, bush, ah, sticker bushes. Ah. So you had said something earlier about uh, asking questions. How about positive criti criticism? No, George, we don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead, George. If you had an, Ouch. if you had an overweight dog, what would your uh, situation be for training it as an alternative to the treats? That's what somebody's asking. No, I'm asking myself. I'm asking Your you. Dog? No, I'm asking in a in a fairy tale world because I, yeah, my dogs aren't aren't overweight. Uh, but like uh, I would like like blind melon. He's an overweight dog and he. Uh, not That's his deal. I know he's a wonderful dog. I'm not criticizing him at all. I'm just saying if you had a dog that's overweight, what would your alternative be to try the, to the treats? Would there be an alternative? It's the power of food. Drive of all animals. Oh, you're right. Survival. Yes, ma'am. You can't say, okay, well, we'll do, because uh, there are some people, people that train blind dogs, they might not use food because they have retrieved drug. All right, look, stay back over there. we got to get psychic recall on this box. So it's going to come from somewhere. Ready? And psychic recall. you got to give it a second, George. There she goes. All right. No. I always saw that, Mike. Mike's my friend in the UK. He's really the only one that really understands this stuff. 
or wants to, maybe, Mike. I've kind of understood that's maybe what it is. We're the only ones that want to. Nobody else cares. They're like, who cares? Sit, sit, who cares? All right, so let's just do this, George. I, well, let's split up again. You're going to go down that way to the end of the trail. I'm going to go back this way because I lost something. And then we'll do the run at the thing again. Just get down at the end, though, so they got some running room. If you hit them with constant, you could probably turn them right there with it. But if you accidentally hit it too high, then you've got a dog that won't leave you. Now you've got a dog that's inhibited. And I'm just going to tell you right now, it's it's start. It's at that point you're now having to run damage control, and so your training, your flow chart, and everything just went because you didn't want that to happen. So that's not happening here. All right, come on, George. Let's feed the fish a little bit. I gotta be, I gotta work with the fish. I haven't been training them. Oh my God, George, too. And look, I don't know. There was raccoon prints down here in the sand. I don't see them now. Look how close she was that time. She's so slow, George. She's not gonna catch anything. Oh, she will one day. She'll catch him one day. The other ones have, and look at her mouth. Her mouth isn't a good grabbing mouth. If one of them was going to catch him, it'd be one of those labs. They got a longer. Yeah, I, I think that you're one of the German Shepherds would be quicker about it. They don't care about it. Oh, no, I guess Benjamin was trying to get him. Anyway, you guys, I think you can see what I got going on. Here, let's go back out here and do the deliver to hand real quick. I just did this because he had gotten thirsty. But, I mean, if you said he thinks you're Billy Joe Armstrong... you guys because if you said are there things you can do to make it go away oh absolutely all right come on get up get back in your chair george just do the little dumbbell thing so i already get my cone i'm already just sort of you know setting up i don't want any secrets i'll tell you somebody's gonna have to go in her cage though i'm gonna have to try to lock her in there long enough to get this done and we got to be careful with her this summer because she starts chasing these bugs and to the point of just overheating you see how she is right ah uh, so look i've got my cone i've got my basket and i've got my stationary hand 
So I do think that's the easiest. I think you can train them for a stationary handler like this. And you can sit anybody down here and the dog will do it. That's been what I've been seeing. And it's really, it's really hard to say that about the handler walking around just because that's when people get uncoordinated. 10% battery. Okay, we got, this is our last video. Oh, he's amazing. All right, so my job is just honestly just keep looking down there. And Mahesh, I'm letting him know we do have this little, we want to show the kids this, you know, that these are mine. Because if you let them, they'll, oh, they'll take advantage of you just like people do. So I'm not looking at him at all. I'm fascinated with that basket. Remember, the default is his, ah, to pick it up. You've got to try to catch it, though. Sometimes I, I do, I feel like butterfingers, and I can't catch it. You've got to do, oh, God, there's one video. I don't, remind me to go find it and delete it, Mike, where I just, the dog had gotten them all slimy, and so I couldn't hold on to them. All right, so what I need to do is move my basket halfway, hang on, or just miniaturize my scene. Because I think yesterday was the first day I got him to get the basket. Oops. I do like to tip it on the side, though. And if you said, what's helping him? That hand bending back like that. As soon as he's seeing that, he's understanding. Okay, so I can miniaturize. Is that your sign, forgive me? No, it just means forgive me. No, 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 I forgot to say give me. G I oh. give me. He's saying like your you hand gesture like this. Yes, forgive like me. Like anybody that had a disability could probably do that with their hand and. Yeah, I, yeah, no, you're right, George. All right, so I'm just looking at the basket. 5% battery. Okay. All right, guys, we got to go. We're running out of phone, but uh, I hope that helped. And uh, Mahesh, he's doing amazing. Bye, guys.